ein Aufklärungsverband der Waffen-SS. Footage in the introduction shows part of a training exercise of a Waffen SS unit from June of 1943. The soldiers are training with the Volkswagen Typ 166, more commonly known as a Schwimmwagen. Today we'll look at the amphibious vehicle, talk about its specifications, and we'll look at more training footage related to the vehicle's operation and maintenance. We'll see more of that training exercise and end up with some beautiful footage from the Ardennes in 1945 which contains a Swimwagen. This is a 1937 training film for the use and maintenance of the Kugel and Schwimmwagen. There are two reels of footage with a total run time of 59 minutes and 33 seconds. The Schwimmwagen was well engineered and was the most widely produced amphibious vehicle in history. Along with its ability to travel over water like a boat, it was just as effective as his brother, the Kubelwagen, when traveling over land. Converting from land to amphibious travel mode was easy and if necessary could even be done without leaving the vehicle. It was designed to carry three fully equipped soldiers. An example of its good design is the placement of the spare tire on front of the hood. When on the water, the spare tire breaks large waves, keeping them from splashing up over the windshield. To be honest, the Schwimmwagen wasn't used often in the water because it had some disadvantages. In a shallow river that a normal vehicle could drive through, the Schwimmwagen would float, basically because that's what it was made to do. In this case, the driver would have to fight against the river flow to stay straight. This meant that if there was much of a current, the vehicle would be carried downstream. It was hard to tell where you'd actually land on the far bank, which, in combat situations, was a problem. A further problem was a lack of armor, which meant that relatively light damage from shrapnel or small arms fire could cause the Schwimmwagen to be unseaworthy. The Schwimmwagen really only worked well in still water, like is seen here. The Schwimmwagen motor for water travel was only able to muster 10 kilometers per hour. That's 6.2 miles per hour. The slow speed on water also left the passengers as easy targets. In the fall of 1942, the first Schwimmwagen 166 began being mass produced and up through 1944, a total of 14,276 were completed. Today, only 189 of them are known to exist. The Schwimmwagen had four gears and could travel at 80 kilometers per hour on the Autobahn. That's about 50 miles per hour, which is pretty typical for cars at the time. Here is an SS recon team out on a patrol exercise. Because of their off-road capabilities, the Schwimmwagen was often used as reconnaissance. And finally here we'll see some footage from the Ardennes from 1945.
In the last scene, you'll see some wonderful footage of a Schwimmwagen.